So have you ever been out browsing at an antique store or a vintage store and you found something totally out of the ordinary that you just had to have, but then you realize, okay, what am I going to do with this? Well, Kim Rollins, she is with Sweet Salvage. She has heard that before and she is here with some solutions and to chat about a really neat event. Welcome to Sonoran Living. Well, thank you, Andy. So you guys are having a really cool event. We're going to talk about that in just a second, but you, you have a store called Sweet Salvage, Indeed. but it's a little different. Tell me why it's so different. It's a little different because it's not really a store. It's an event. Okay. It's a monthly vintage shopping event where we're open for four days each month. It's always the third Thursday through Sunday. Okay. With a fresh theme. Okay. Fresh merchandise. And this, this month's theme is Sweet Salvage. This one is Salvage Secrets. Salvage Secrets, sorry. Sweets, I'm get, I get all confused. It's okay. But <laughs> I guess the bottom line is salvaging is sort of what you do between events, correct? Exactly. It is about the hunt. Okay. But I think more importantly, it's not what it is, it's what it can be. Okay. Too many times a piece will scream out to us and it's, wouldn't you look great as a... Well see, and I think that's it. Let, let's go ahead and show some of these pieces because as you're saying, it's not what it is, it's what it can be. Uh, for example, let's say that, that chair right there, this beautiful chair. Isn't it gorgeous? Yeah. Did, my guess is it didn't look like this when you found it. It didn't. What did it look like? You know, when you find a piece that has great bones, it's about overlooking its flaws. Okay. And its flaws were some really nasty fabric. <laughs> well, how old do you think that piece is? I'm going to guess around 40 years old. Okay. But when you give it a little bit of fresh paint, fresh fabric, in really great tones. The tangerine and the green are really hot right now. So when people are out, I mean, some people, this is what they do. They go to vintage, you know, antique stores and flea markets and they find this stuff because they have an idea. Mm -hmm. But for many of us, I mean, we could even be at a, at a department store and just find something that's totally odd and we don't know what to do with it. H how can you help it? Like looking at this big orange thing right there. Mm -hmm. I love it. I don't know if I'd know what to do with it, but I like it. Help me figure out that, how we figure it out. That's the first key. <laughs> when you love something, you go with it. Okay. It'll, it can be incorporated in any style, whether it's contemporary or if your entire home is vintage. If you look at Pottery Barn, many of the things that are in the background aren't for sale there. So at the flea markets, at the estate sales, is where you find these gems. These drawers here, industrial drawers, probably used in a mechanic shop mm -hmm. at one point. But it's the original paint, it's a hot color, it'd make a great nightstand, roll it into your bathroom, great for organizing with all those drawers. Oh, Craft I have lots room, of ideas studio. for that. Lots of ideas. It's wonderful. Um, let's talk about some of these really neat pieces. This white thing up there, what did you call it? Col col That's a corbel. A corbel. It probably once was on a porch. Mm -hmm. And it held up the porch. But imagine it, a pair of them, a board across the top, it's an awesome shelf or a mantle. Okay. Or, you know, in a lot of the homes here, they have the pot shelves or mm -hmm. the alcove. Just set, set it up there. So It'll you don't always need a pair. It's just sort of where, it, exactly. where you can put it. The great thing about vintage items is they all have a story. I wish we knew the story, don't you? Oh, Wouldn't sometimes. you love to know the story behind <laughs> that big orange thing? Or you can make up your own. What about the letter on top? The end sign? Uh-huh. Uh, it was probably part of a marquee. Uh-huh. Uh, Graphics, letters, subway art, really hot right now. Uh, that would look great on a bookshelf. So I think what we're, what we're finding is you can use the pieces or you can just use them to decorate because you don't have to have a, a pair. You don't have to have a, necessarily a, a theme. Exactly. Right? If you find it, you love it. It's a color you can use. For example, this orange crush crate mm -hmm. would be great in a pantry for utilitarian purposes or, again, would look great on a bookshelf hold your kids' books, I would, toys. I would put magazines in it. Absolutely. What about some of these other things? I know it's sort of hard. Can you, our camera guys get this little piece right here, this frame, sort of behind the plant? Because that piece, obviously, was a frame and a picture, but what did you guys do behind it? What that is is a metal screen. Uh -huh. It is magnetic, so it becomes instantly a memo board. But it's got the great patina. It's got that little bit of rust going on. It doesn't look new, it has its own character. So I think we figured it out. Just if you love it, you'll find a place for it. Absolutely. Um, whose idea was this, to put a piece of glass? Uh, what is that representing, just it's what special? What this or? is, is a bell jar or a cloche. Uh, they originate back in England where they covered uh, seedlings from frost. Oh, okay. But anything you put under 
a glass bell jar looks terrific. Well, Could obviously, be family yes. photos, a vintage camera, seashells. The list goes on. Well, I am so excited. You guys have an event coming up. We're yes. going to have all of the information on our website. Perfect. But it's this Thursday, from Thursday to Sunday. And you have um, Salvage Secrets, the author, um, Joanne Pal Palmisanot. Pal Palmasano. Yeah. Palmasano. She Joanne is. will be there tomorrow or Thursday morning. Okay. Get at there at 9 a.m. She's going to be there with uh, the people in line, Great. meeting and greeting, talking about some of the fun things that are in the store. And this month, oh, Andy, it looks great. Okay, I cannot wait. Okay, so all of the information will be on our website, sonoranliving.com. Once a month event, you don't want to miss it. Real cool stuff like this.